Hey, Jason Starr here, and the topic of this video is tips for world building. And this is a question that came to me from a subscriber to this channel. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe, uh, like the video, and you can share it on social media. So here's the thing about world building. Um, I think world building is important whether you're writing a science fiction or fantasy, as this subscriber seems to be, or if you're writing any sort of novel, a crime novel, um, a, a romance novel, a literary novel, in any novel you're creating a world and as the author you have to be an expert in that world. Now in science fiction and fantasy this becomes even more important because uh, the world you're creating can be extremely complex and uh, very detail oriented. So it can get very confusing, especially if you're writing multiple books in a series or even if you're writing a, a, a TV show that's going to be ongoing or uh, a movie where uh, there might be sequels, but even just for one movie, it's extremely important that uh, you, you as, the, as the creator of this world, know this world inside out. And so what I do, um, when I'm doing world building, and, I, and I've done it in, in some of my books um, to a greater degree, for example, in The Pack and The Craving, uh, which were fantasy novels, there's a lot of world building. Um, I've done it a lot of my comics, Wolverine, etc. Um, but I also do it when I'm writing uh, a crime thriller. I'll have a simultaneous document with every detail I know about this world. Um, so for example, when I was writing uh, The Pack novels, I had a uh, document that um, I began as I was writing the book. Um, it's an evolving document where I can insert details as they come to me or an idea I might have uh, for a future detail and I keep track of those details. But beyond that, um, I might even uh, sometimes create a, a third document which is an actual narrative of the world that I'm building from beginning, middle to end. Um, it can include historical events, um, how the world was created, um, anything you think is super important. And these details that come to you as you uh, are writing your work um, will uh, fit into that document and you could insert them where they belong. Uh, but, the, but the point is, you as the author must know everything about the world that you're creating. Now, the details in this document might not ever make it into the book. Uh, the, this is a document for you, not for the reader, and that's, that's the key to all of this. So you're creating a document for yourself where you could be an expert on this world, and then uh, naturally, as you're writing, these details should uh, seep naturally into, into your story. I think the, the biggest mistake um, some writers make with, with world building is when the information seems uh, forced or inserted. Uh, you always want your uh, information, especially uh, when it comes to world building, to seem organic, to seem like it's coming from the characters and not from the author. And the way you do that is by having another document um, uh, that, that's for your eyes only, that you are um, an expert on this world, and then as you're writing, you're going to know this world so well that details, um, maybe locations that you've made up, uh, names for things, uh, will come out naturally, and because you're, you're going to know this inside out. So that's my big advice. Um, create that um, other document, and uh, please like the video, subscribe, and I'll be back again soon.